Hey there, Virgo. Welcome to your reading. This is part two for the week of February 21st. So we're just gonna jump right in here, Virgo, and we are going to see uh, what is going on for you. Uh, with this, and, and by the way, I forgot to say, if you haven't watched part one yet, it's linked up in the pinned comments down below. Uh, with the new life card, you have this peace card. Clearly, I mean, you know, just based off of everything here, your new life is going to bring you peace. I think it's going to make you happy, mostly because you're manifesting or you've created something that you've wanted to create uh, for a long time. Nine of Wands, your last card here, is really telling me that you're kind of like trying something again. Uh, with the Temperance card, you have the Magician again. You have the Magician twice, uh, so a new beginning for number one. But number two, I would be very careful of your words. Again, we said that at the last, at the ending of your last reading. And so I would just be careful uh, with the words that you use at this time. I would make sure to speak positively, of course, about anything new that's happening for you or anything that you are trying to create. It's going to be very important that you stay positive. Uh, with the tennis, uh, with the um, Ace of Wands, you have the Ten of Swords. The Ten of Swords is about like letting go of something that is dead, done, over with. Um, probably like just needing to stay open to new ways of doing things. The Ace of Wands is, I'll show you in the background here, there is a castle that is crumbling right above my finger here. And it kind of is, it just represents the fact that something from the past is being let go of. And the Ace of Wands is a card of newness, right? It's a card of a new opportunity or inspiration, being inspired to do something new, or it can be a card of a new beginning as well. And, you know, so it just kind of represents releasing something from the past. The Ten of Swords says something from the past is dead, done, over with. So basically the same thing. <laughs> I would just let go of the past uh, with this energy. Uh, with the Six of Pentacles, you have the uh, Justice card. You have the Justice card twice. Justice is justice. I, I literally do feel there could be justice coming in for you. Again, like I said, nobody this uh, last week, everybody had the Justice card, Six of Pentacles. You have it together now. Uh, nobody else this week has had it uh, except for you. Uh, to me, it's cause and effect. You know, if you put energy into something, are you getting energy back? If the answer is yes, keep moving forward. Uh, justice really asks us to kind of like stay neutral as well. Uh, like I've said to other signs, I do think there's like going to be some more craziness in the world in general. I don't think that's going to slow down anytime soon. Uh, probably more crazy. And so I think we need to kind of stay neutral, stay calm, don't freak out <laughs> about anything. And, uh, you know, especially if you see it on the news, the news is meant to get you, is meant to get you all worked up, right? So I would be careful of that stuff. And I, I, I really feel like taking a neutral approach to everything at this point is probably um, the best answer. That doesn't mean you don't care about what's going on. It just means that you're staying neutral. You're just saying, okay, like, let's wait till the dust settles, right? And I kind of get that energy here. Uh, with the... Uh, convey your meaning card. You have this uh, let your personality shine card. Look at that. It says uh, you have something no one else has that makes you who you are. Stop comparing yourself to others and allow your uni uniqueness to shine through. So you are special. If no one's told you that here, here you go, Virgo. You are special. You are unique. So there you go. <laughs> Uh, with the Ten of Cups, you have the Two of Pentacles. It's time to get to work. Um, what makes you you? What makes you unique? He kind of represents hard work or he also represents work hard, play hard. But, um, you know, for you, I kind of feel like your dream with that, you know, this is clarifying the Ten of Cups. And if you can see here how the waves get start off small and then they get bigger as you go across the card here, Virgo. So I kind of feel that something is getting harder and harder to ignore. And, and and again, I feel like it's your dream with that 10 of cups. Sometimes I think we have a dream to do something. It's like, we just have to do it. We just have to experience it. We just have to go through it so we can know whether or not we want it in our life. And it's like, when I was younger, I wanted to be a chef. You know, I love cooking. And then I got a job as a chef, basically, and I hated it. <laughs> so so it's like, that's why, but, but you know what was funny? is that it's like, I like you know, as I was doing it, it's like I, I was becoming more and more, like I had a, more and more of a desire to do it be, before I did it. It was like, it was just building inside of me, right? But so it's like the universe was saying, you need to go experience this so you don't go to school in, to become a chef and hate it, right? Um, I love cooking, but not for, you know, for not having to do it for a job, right? And that's what I learned. But so it's like, I feel, that's what I feel for you here. It's like, I feel like your desires are building. I, I feel like there is a desire here. I, I actually think that you're going to like it. You're not gonna hate it. But again, I feel like it's important that you go through the experience with the two of pentacles. He's kind of like juggling two things, you know? And it, it, there's this figure eight between the two things. 
And the figure eight represents an exchange of energy. So I feel like you need to go exchange some energy with something, like probably an experience that you need to have, something you've been trying to do again with that nine of wands. Uh, with the fool, you have the hangman. Yeah, I mean, I feel like you've been in hangman mode for too long. Uh, the reason I say this is because you get the fool with me every single reading I do for you. So, you know, it's definitely time for you to take a leap of faith. I feel you have everything you need. I said this to you earlier, I think, that you have everything you need. His head is glowing on the fool, on the hangman. And on the fool, it kind of represents preparation, but it can represent over-preparation. It can say you are over-prepared. You are more than ready. You are more than prepared to do something. Uh, with the sun, you have the Queen of Cups. So the Queen of Cups is you're trusting your emotions. I kind of said this with the sun earlier. It's like the sun can just be something that makes you happy, something that makes you feel fulfilled, something that you want to do. It's like something you are drawn towards. And uh, that's what I'm feeling here. And the Queen of Cups, she is very focused on that cup that she is holding. I always say she kind of represents keeping your eye on the prize. Uh, she is also very protective of her emotions. Not only that, she really trusts her emotions as well. She follows whatever her emotions tell her to do. And so that cup that she's holding, it almost looks like a trophy because it represents the fact that she really values her emotions on a very deep level. So I feel like you need to follow your emotions at this time. Uh, with the draft spirit, it says, see the big picture. You have the nightingale spirit. It says love is all around. Um, I also love the nightingale spirit because... The nightingale kind of represents the fact that you are, have, like, there's much more potential in something than you realize. On one of the other decks that I have, the nightingale, uh, the, uh, another deck that has a nightingale in it, it's like the nightingale is sitting on this gigantic egg, and it says you are much more capable than you realize. And again, you have that let your personality shine card, which I feel is kind of like very similar. I feel like this is saying that there's something that is probably very big that would be a big you know, thing for you to do in your life. And I feel like you need to do it. With the Knight of Wands, you have the Page of Pentacles. And it's like good news coming in for you, I feel, with the Page of Pentacles. I feel a lot of abundance coming in for you as well, for whatever reason. And it's going to be based off of some sort of adventure with that Knight of Wands. So the Knight of Wands is like going on an adventure. And I feel like there could be a lot of success there. Uh, I also feel this could be communication coming in from a person. So if you're interested in a person, I, like I feel like they're going to be, this looks like communication coming in for you here. Um, so I feel like it could be love. With the justice card, you have the uh, temperance card. Mm, yeah, temperance is, with temperance with justice is like experimentation. The temperance card, he's trying to turn water into wine with the with those two cups. And the justice card is experimentation. It's just like going back and forth. Justice is cause and effect. It's like, if you take this action, do you get a result? Uh, if the answer is yes, then keep moving forward. If the answer is no, then stop. So, you know, the temperance card is about kind of like shaping your reality in some ways. And you have the magician twice, which is definitely about verbalizing your reality, making your reality true by using your words. I kind of feel like you're doing two things here uh, with both of these cards. It's like you're, um, it's like you're using your words, but there's also a fire triangle in, on the middle of his chest here on this temperance card. And the fire triangle, there's more action, you know, behind it. It's not like maybe the magician just uses his words. He just kind of uses law of attraction or whatever to attract something. The temperance is more taking an action. With the hierophant, eight of wands. There you go. <laughs> Eight of Wands is a quick conclusion and quick success. It is also using your words. Uh, traditionally, the Eight of Wands was like the rockets of love or the, you know, the arrows of love, whatever you want to call it. Um, you know, it's kind of like uh, Esther Hicks always talks about how we're always telling the universe what we want. The universe is responding by, um, you know, creating resistance or guiding us in a certain direction. And that is the Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands is like being guided in a certain direction uh, so you can be successful. It's coming up with the Hierophant as well, which is interesting because the Hierophant is like the bridge between, you know, the heavens and the earth. He uh, brings the two things together. So I feel like you're being guided at this time. You need, definitely need to listen to your inner voice with that card. Eight of Wands is also about being very focused, like picking a point that you're going to work towards and just making it happen. Uh, with the here and now card, um, the blessed card, and the um, parrot spirit, uh, I'm going to pull this one right here. You have the no place like home card. So some of you might be spending more time at home, but I really kind of get the feeling that you're kind of like very focused on your environment at this time. Uh, you have the magician. You have the knight of cups with the magician. 
The Knight of Cups is a knight in shining armor. Definitely feel love coming in for you. Could be, you have basically everything here. Uh, could be any sign, but I do feel it's like more of a someone sweeping you off your feet type of situation here. Uh, I, what I would say is, Eight of Wands. I would be very specific about the person you want, the type of person you're looking for with that Eight of Wands. Eight of, like, again, the Eight of Wands is basically the universe responding to you. So um, <laughs> if you just allow any old bozo uh, to enter into your life, that's exactly what's going to happen. So I'd be very specific about like what a knight in shining armor looks like to you with that card. But there you go. Uh, if you don't want love, by the way, this could just be a dream. Not a cup. He's normally looking into that cup and he's like dreaming of his future life. He's dreaming of you know pretty much anything he wants so i would dream big with the uh queen of wands you have the five of wands definitely taking a risk again queen of wands is about being bold being assertive uh really going for something you want the five of wands is you know call a card i call indiana jones to me it's a card of like going on a crazy adventure in life um you know really putting yourself out there to get some rewards to get some treasure and so the queen of wands she has to take a risk and she has to put herself the risk she's taking is putting herself out there being bold being assertive uh so i feel if you do that you will be very successful at this time with the five of wands it's like i get this thing here for you virgo where it's the risk of failure you know um <laughs> you, you you could say that's always a risk right failure if you're trying to do something really big with your life but i think it's more than that it's like if you go and fail, will people in your life judge you? Will the people in your life um, abandon you or, or something like that? And, you know, I think that's kind of maybe what's holding you back a little bit here. So it might just be something you want to take a look at. Uh, with the Nine of Wands, damn, Ten of Pentacles, are you kidding me? <laughs> Ten of Pentacles is everything you want in your life. So I feel there's like a lot of success available to you. I feel like you're creating this Ten of Pentacles in your life because Ten of Pentacles is permanent success. You know, it's like building or leaving a legacy. And this is what you're working towards, Virgo. You're working towards permanent success. You're working towards abundance and, you know, blessings in your life. Um, you know, it's actually pretty simple reading. I feel that let your personality shine card, which says um, make who you are, you know, stop comparing yourself to other people um, and allow your uniqueness to shine through. It's like you're very unique at this time, Virgo. I think you need to let that shine because that's going to lead to the Ten of Pentacles again. And again, I think the problem with being unique is it's like your life isn't going to be like someone else's. So the Five of Wands, again, the fear, the risk being that other people might not agree with what you're doing seems to be the case for a lot of people uh, it makes sense that it would be the case for you as well i mean with neptune and pisces in your opposite sign neptune and pisces is a direct challenge to traditional beliefs so it's like you know i've said to other signs as well it's like if you're if your parents want you to go to school to become a dentist but you want to become something else uh it's like you know that there could be some problems there right but it's like in in facing those issues and facing those problems it's like this is what you can become is a ten of pentacles uh maybe your whole life you've been told that you're stupid and that you can never do something that you want to do whatever it is but then when you prove those people wrong it makes them the stupid ones right and so i feel like that's what you need to do here with the ten of pentacles uh looks really good i like this so thank you for being here definitely heading in the right direction here virgo so thank you for being here really appreciate it make sure to watch your sun moon and rising for a full picture of what's going on for you at this time but uh thank you and definitely enjoy your week